All right, boys and girls, have the vetiver. Just for a few more days, we'll be using this setup. Martin DeCondre, the Nasset Blade, Petit Special Edition with the open comb and the piccolo handle and the Taj handled Samo Gunners Club bore brush. And I thought I was traveling, and so I did take the blade out of the razor. Let me get the uh, brush back to soak it. It's already been soaking for a few minutes, so it should be fine, but uh, in a minute I'll take it out and shake the water out, and I like the consistency of having the water in there. And of course, any extra few minutes is probably going to help it to be uh, softer or break it in just a hair quicker. All right, so let us put the blade in. I need to be a little quick today. So here's the, the Nasset in full view. And a little, I need to flip this around without dropping it or touching the edges. The, I don't think I've mentioned this in a little while, but the, uh, the side with the dots that I always show you, because it's a, kind of a, that way you know it's the same blade each time, always faces the handle. And that's just something I decided to do when I started using this blade. It wasn't um, anything that I knew was going to happen, you know, uh, meaning I, I, this is going to be the best way to get a billion uses out of this blade. It's not that at all. I thought, why not try it? And who knows, as I'm looking to adjust the blade here, there we go. Make sure that it's centered. All right. And who knows, I may have stumbled across the secret to getting long shaves is never rotating the blade, never, um, Never flipping it, always have that downside down. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so later on, we'll maybe we'll try one where I f flip it randomly and see if there's a difference. That'll be a long experiment, won't it? All right. So the count on this blade is a, this is a little mini milestone, 330 uses. Uh, on the wrapper is the 300 dots. And anything over that, I've been tracking on this index card. So, how about that? And we are getting kind of close to the end of August. Just a few more shaves. Something different I'm going to bring in today is my bowl. This is a melamine bowl from the Dollar Tree. The V shape might be nice uh, because my regular bowl has interned upper lip to help keep the lather in. This could ineffectually do this, uh, ineffective, effectively do the same thing by flaring it out and giving it long travel so that the soap just doesn't really have anywhere to go. Uh, it stops before it gets there. And so we'll see. I super glued. I didn't have my silicone with me, and these are just a dollar, so I didn't mind using a glue that wasn't exactly the one I wanted. I, uh, so I glued some glass beads also from the Dollar Tree into the bottom of this bowl. Two things, hopefully it helps. When I put my brush in there, keeps it from slinking down into the suds. And then of course, the agitation factor. So let's see how that works today. All right, this is a day and a half worth of growth. And so things may be different with a nine swirl shave. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that. Let me get my face wet. You know, the uh, soap is going to have absorbed that water that was on the top layer a little bit more because it's several hours uh, different in terms of the soap time. So, I mean, intermittent time. So let's just see what happens. All right, nine. One, two. That just never feels like very much. Not really much in there. I think I got like four drips out. All right. Okay, so. 
let's just see what happens here. So instantly we see that airy stuff kind of froth up there. close to the edge. I glued these same beads to the bottom of a um, ceramic bowl, a pottery, you know, type bowl from the Dollar Tree. But they popped off after like one or two uses. My guess is the glue just wasn't able to adhere to that glossy surface. And then I tried to run some sandpaper to rough up the surface, but it wouldn't work the surface. The ceramic was just too, you know, too hard. All right, so let us add in a teaspoon of water. Two teaspoons might be the target amount, maybe a little bit less. This, because of the smaller bottom, doesn't hold nearly as much lather as my uh, main bowl, my 3D printed one, but this is a obtainable really cheap, so I thought I'd give it a good evaluation. Of course, I was able to rough up the, the floor of the bowl here, since it's melamine with some sandpaper. And so I imagine that glue is going to stick a little better than the ceramic. Looking pretty good. Go ahead and add half a teaspoon. I do have to be a little more careful with this bowl than my normal one, you know, because as you can see, it's kind of getting close to the edge. And my fingers are more sudsy. And that, you wouldn't think that'd be too bad. And sometimes it's not. However, when that affects your grip on the brush, all of a sudden it can make the shave a lot more work. I think we've got plenty of lather to do the job. Normally, these kind of peaks and the fact that it's not changing shape when I move it around, normally with uh, most of my other soaps, that is an indicator that it's too dry and I need to keep adding water, but uh, this one likes to be run dry. It's just the way it is. It gets to, it gets to nothing. It loses its it just may, it gets a watery type slickness that's not as good if you uh, hydrate it really well. All right, wet my face again. And here we go. Well, looks like the nine swirl method load time was not negatively impacted by the longer period between shaves.
do feel the bristles a little bit more than usual. I don't think I have as much, when it's drier like that, I don't have as much lather in the brush. Otherwise it just kind of flies off. like that chunk did early on. All right. Yeah, my brush is not sinking down into the bowl, so that's good. Okay, with the grain. For me, that is from top to bottom. on my cheeks. On my neck with the grain is this way. Basically. And rinse. The soap rinses, this lather rinses very cleanly and quickly because there's just not much to it. I could. Uh, it looks like I've got plenty of lather to do the shave today, so that's interesting. Uh, I could add more to my face, but I don't really need to. Purposefully left the kind of drops on my face after the rinse just to help the lather out and moisturize it a little bit more, hydrate it. And it helped it out. It was a smoother, smoother shave. And it helped the brush to feel better on my face. So I'm about to put on the third pass and I still have plenty to go here. So maybe I wet it too much, but no, I don't think so. Maybe it need more working, you know, in the bowl. Maybe it could have come together a little better if it had, had more time. Because the way that first pass felt, I, it gave me the feeling that it was just a little too dry. Got some extra lather, so I figured I'd add some more to my, my brush just for grins. And cross grain again. As usual, first pass was a little, a little tuggy, not too bad at all. Other one's pretty comfortable, especially this one, of course, since it's just kind of doing the few touch-ups here and there. And there we go. Final rinse. Very 
good. As usual, no irritation or nicks or razor burn or any of that. That would bring in the balm we've been using all month. Soap Commander Integrity, unscented, menthol free. Not a fan of the menthol. A lot of guys like it, and especially if you're a morning shaver, I can see why. I wonder if some, some people use the menthol to, to help them after the shave. Like they're not getting really smooth shaves. Maybe their their lather isn't very well hydrated, but then the menthol helps to kind of heal them after that. I wonder if that's does is that something that menthol does? Does that help you feel better after a bad shave? Uh, sure enough, one and a half teaspoons of water is what we needed. I don't think I needed to add any more. Um, after all, so uh, so that was fine, and it's cleanup time. All right, folks, there we go. Uh, happy with the shave. Kind of surprised it wasn't more tuggy with the duration of growth that I had. Uh, one and a half days growth instead of the usual 24 hours. But, hey, we'll take it, right? All right, well, uh, that's it for today. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves, and I hope there's been something good in this video for you. You guys take care.